We are the generation changes. Little Romeo, Little Romeo, Little Romeo. Oh, don't stop, don't stop, don't say Little Romeo. They, that wasn't no, busting. Oh, Romeo, 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 you know, we had, you know, he was eating rap snacks. He looked like Ray Charles right. in the bag. I'm telling you. Hey, he did, hey. <laughs> they ain't he had did, to do him like that, though. They ain't had to do him Rap like snacks, you gotta get, you gotta, you gotta. You gotta yeah, give Boosie another home. look, cause that's that wasn't right. We ain't like you that. Didn't, man. You, didn't, you didn't like the we Boosie, all know the Boosie picture, man. It just was. You want to no. show the picture? Give yeah, me the bag, man. man. Pass the bag. The bag. The bag. Pass the bag on this. I mean, the Boosie. Yeah. Right, so you didn't like the Boosie rap? Nah, man. I didn't feel like they just. I didn't feel like that looked like Boosie. Nah, that looked like Boosie at all. Pass it around. That looked like Boosie. Who that look like? Like Soldier Boy? When I was here, one of the most fun characters. Why did you? Like Ray Charles, Soldier Boy, Boosie Snacks. All right, so my man and some guys don't like the way the cover is. Hey, but we was out there smashing mad rap snacks. The Cardi B mixed with the Migos made the culture. My man found out that, hey, it was the realest thing. That's how you feel about it. Wait a second, wait a second. It was the realest. But we will review the tape. Eventually. Okay. So, shout out to the BX because we took that. Listen. And the votes. Ah. And, and and listen, hold on, wait. I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat because I made sure that the judges was my big homies. Yeah, yeah. And they let me know solid. Cardi took it across the board. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, boy. right. Shout out to Cardi being the BX. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, let's get into it. Let's 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 let them know why I call you my Guinness Book record chasing homie. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, let's, man. you know, like, why? <laughs> That's uh, that's a big look, man. A lot of people come in. I, I hear a lot of things lately. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing that. You know, I hear that from you. I hear from uh, you know what I'm saying? Poet. I, you know. I hear uh, um, Poet tell me uh, you one of the hardest working men in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I get a lot from my homies to tell me to keep doing what we're doing. And it's just um, why we do it. Um, everybody's like, yo, your numbers is low, and this and the third thing. But I wasn't, I wasn't planning on getting the numbers. I just wanted my numbers right. You know what I'm saying? And people don't get that. They're like, yo, I gotta get fans first. I'm like, all right, but is your BMI straight? <laughs> they ain't nobody any of that. And then it was like, yo, but my, my, my numbers, you know what I'm saying? The number, their numbers wasn't right. So it's like, the Guinness Book was talking about numbers. So on, on, on the board, I put numbers. Um, in uh, 2015, I became the only artist in world history to uh, release 50 albums of music. In right. one year's time. Yep. And on album 50, I released 225 songs. Yep. Called The Addiction. Yep. Um, that's available on datpiff.com. 50 albums. In one year's time, yeah. Five zero. And that, that's and, a and lot. I, that, and so, so look, yeah. that's, what we, that's what we said, right? Everybody's like, we it's a lot. So I, I hit the Guinness Book up and I was like, you know, can, can I get it some light? You know what I'm saying? I thought that maybe like they would give music, hip hop, some light. Recognition, yeah. Nah, man. Um, so they got they contacted me and told me that um it wasn't a uh, record breaking yet, and we needed more numbers. So fast forward to uh album 100, yeah. So that's 50 albums later. There's 50 albums yeah. later on album 100. 50 albums. Yeah. Yeah. Not 50 songs. Albums. All right, like on an average, how many? 15 tracks? songs a day. How many tracks are on each album? Oh, oh, oh okay. Um. Approximately, well, so so listen, so on album 50, there's 225 songs on one album. It's just, that's, that's the 50th project. But there's approximately anywhere between 37 and, you know what I'm saying, between 37 and, you know, 15 records a piece. So they're full album. And this is the thing, so everybody's asking me, how did you do it? Well, this is the thing, I would go sit down with uh, my fellow DJs, you know what I'm saying, and break the DJ interview down. If I had an interview in the UK and I called in, I'd take that interview, break it down and put it on the album because you know how you would have to have a mixtape hosted by a DJ. So then it would be like, I could take this right here and say, Koba. I said, Koba. And y'all guys would not know what the fuck I'm talking about. But I said, Koba. You know what Koba is, is me taking this interview right here, you know what I'm saying? And busting it down to the new mixtape that I call Koba. DJ Big Dog, I hear you. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what, basically, what, basically what we did, is um after the hundred album, you know what I'm saying, the untold stories of Clay Hewitt, um, they still didn't it didn't resonate with them. Like I was like, well what, what kind of numbers you want? And they, they just left me on, on, on kind of a back burner. 
<clears throat> long story short, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I lost a hundred albums. Let's just go there for a minute. I recorded another hundred albums to have two hundred albums solid. My computer crashed and I lost all that work. Damn. Yeah. I lost a hundred albums of work in Altadena, California. Um, it had rained and I was hiding my laptop because uh, where I was living, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't you going to stunt. You said something about a flood. Yeah, there was there was a lot of water, you know what I'm saying? So it crashed the laptop. I tried to get it dry, blow dry it, and rip that hard drive out, but I lost it. So kind of like, you know what I'm saying? You float into a depression, you start losing that much kind of music because people yeah, like man. you, I can relate. I it's lost an album projects, before. Bro. But it's like mixtape covers, everything. Everything was like, everything was ready Lined to come back to, to the, come back to the East Coast. That was a year in on the West Coast. So I was like, nah, fuck that. We ain't, we ain't going to be depressed about it. I met some kids out there that really made me chase my dreams. Shout out to... Uh, the big bro Liam, aka Trippy Films, um, Matt Hill, Babkin, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and just uh, the Funhouse crew, Hood Chef, Kited. And, and basically, what happened was I just got linked with my homies, bro, and they inspired me. You know what I'm saying? Hood Chef taught me about this thing called manifestation. And if you can think about this shit, like you can literally think about this shit. Like we don't think about this shit every day. We wake up and be like, man, I want a cheeseburger from McDonald's with no pickles and this, that, and third thing. And you liable just to get up and go get it. But you don't take that same appreciation because there's somebody right now that wants that but can't go get it. No doubt. So no I, seen doubt. It, I seen it as the opportunity, like, damn, manifestation. I'm on top of the YouTube building looking over Altadena, California, and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, I'm, I'm from the East Coast. I'm from the Bronx, New York. I don't know nothing about the L.A. And he told me you don't got to know nothing about L.A. You just got to manifest some shit. So it took me back to the studio where, 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 where you know what I'm saying, they let me stay in this room. I'm saying on the second floor and play in Venice Beach. I'm saying shout out to Ryan Kite, man, and the Funk Crew. Um, so how many albums did you grind out? Yeah, so 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 we so right now we we were go ahead, choppy. We in a, we in the we in the motherfucking Venice Beach, right? So and listen, I'm and I'm gonna tell you straight up because it's over with. You know what I'm saying? They can't get us for nothing. But motherfuckers just trapped the fuck out. I ain't never seen so many motherfucking so much trap shit in my life. I'm just gonna keep it 400. <laughs> And it's not about draw snitching. It's just about knowing your life. He wasn't hanging out with me at the time. It, it, was, it was. It was. It was about. It was about <laughs> finding who you are. You know what I'm saying? And I'm. In, I'm in that stu I'm in that building, preaching this generation changer, sitting, seeing what's going on. But send us. So, so everybody's like, yeah, they, they had that same energy because on the on the west on the west coast, marijuana legal. On the east coast, you pop a blunt, you got something like that. They fucking with you, especially in the south. So That's real. I linked up with some people called the Pop Brothers at Law. I started this thing called the Campaign of Steel from the Night with this kid Trippy Films. Now, when I say this kid Trippy Films went and he toured with me through the back ends and the back alleyways of the OC to film people like Nipsey Hussle and 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 Lil Peep and XXX Dead Young. You know what Yo, I'm saying? When I was I on saw that Nipsey footage. Yeah. That you had. Yeah. You right there in the forefront. Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. That, that's the um, yeah, bro. That's the moment of cl clarity. Let them know on YouTube where they can go check that footage. Yeah, at. yeah. They go to Clarity on, and find the, uh, the Nipsey Hustle video featuring Dave East and Bino before Nipsey Hustle passed. You know what I'm saying? I was right there below his. Like, the footage is crazy. Let like, them know the, the, one more time on YouTube where they can check it, that it's out. It's Clarity. It's the it's Clarity video with uh, Bino featuring uh, it's Nipsey Hustle featuring Bino. You know what I'm saying? I'm in, I'm in the, uh, where he's performing in front of a crowd in a yellow hoodie. I'm down below shooting what they call pit footage with my homie um, Liam. Two years, Liam didn't even see this footage. We lost contact, so whatever the case. We got back in contact, and a big bro, um, Trippy, was like, Yo, live, I got this footage of you in LA. We can put the, some videos out. I'm like, Yeah, but bro, you, you got to see the footage that I got that I was filming that when we left. You know what I'm saying? That we got four, I got 400 videos put up on, you, on YouTube myself. But back to the album, so I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Venice Beach. Yeah, and I got a um, I got a dresser in there, right? Abandoned dresser that I see on the street. I go um, I'm asking the um the lady I'm living with this is garbage. She's not bringing this out, whatever the case. So she's in and out doing whatever she's doing. Shout out to Danny California on the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> the big homie. Um, shout out to no B, B Mike Rob. You know what I'm saying? The West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Um, Silento Mob of the gang. Um, I, but it, it's it was really real for me there because like I was on my so I was on my solo shit. I had gone to work on a mount on a volcano. Crater Lake uh, National Park, you know what I'm saying, for uh, six months. And um, six months turned into two years. After that, me being depressed to losing 100 albums, I was like, holy shit. Besides all my family dying, it was like, either be sad and go home, but I had nothing. I had no record deal. I had no, I'm saying, the bag in my pocket was trap money. I ain't got no reason to bullshit, because if you go online, and you, you, you pay attention to what we're doing. The West Coast is very lucrative. So Shout out to Friday Night Session, uh, you know what I'm saying? Does it push you to go for the... 
the Guinness, the Guinness um, record? Yeah, what pushed me to go to the Guinness record, so me and um, me and Trippy was, we, we basically, uh, we basically pushed into the um, Hollywood, this whole stealing from the night shit. This stealing from the night shit became like a, a, an addictive, a, addictive theory. Okay. And what I was trying to figure out was, is if it was worth it. Would I come back home and would I get the respect of my homies? Like my homies that are on radio that pushed me, that was like, yo, go, let's see what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I don't think that many people can remember how much music that we've uh, we've accomplished to where we're at now. So fast forward in uh in that garage, I broke out this uh, this dresser. You know what I'm saying the lady got pissed at me, but she didn't understand what I was doing. I took this padding and I put it inside the booth and I made a studio. And I mixed and mastered a hundred full albums of music in that garage by myself. No Christmas, no Thanksgiving. Oh, nah, this was uh, Adobe Audition 2.0. But Shout out to Adobe Audition because people don't Word. understand you can do some crazy shit on Windows. My dog I don't, give a, still I don't, I don't, it, I don't care what nobody says too. about me. You know like, about that Adobe, bro? Like, That's my shit. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know what I'm talking about? Man, pro man, pro You know what I'm saying? He was the best in the business. Oh, yeah? I see you, Serge. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, and listen, listen. So, 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 like, like, no cat, like, we had the option. So, there was, you gotta understand, we moved to LA. There's producers everywhere. I'm talking about, bro, I was in there for a year and a half, and I was living next door to a producer, and she made some of the dopest beats I, I ever heard. I had no clue. Female producer. Female. Yeah, shout out to Light Skin Inc. You know what I'm saying? She gonna hear that. You know what I mean? Shout out to the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Al Altadena. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We was everywhere. Altadena, uh, Pasadena, California. We was in uh, Canoga Park. You know what I'm saying? Playa Vista, uh, Santa Monica, Venice Beach. Like, we was at, when I say everywhere, I got the tour that we ready. Like, see the thing? People don't know that we was out there so long, saying so almost tour footage we about to drop on them. Yeah. How did this tour come about? This tour came about just the grind and the hustle. Ain't nobody put a bag on me. I went out, and I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna be real with it, because my mom asked me the same shit. She's like, what did, what did you do out there? I said, mom, I did the only thing I could do. I'm saying, I had a backpack of dimes, and I sold them shits for 20s and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, when, you, when you're working with foreigners. Trying to double up and re the situation, so, 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 so people came, so, 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 so what happens is they got, they, they got hostels, you got they got hostels in LA, hostels is where only internationals can come stay there, you understand, so that's a building full of hostels, and there's maybe like 40, 50 hostels on Venice Beach, so me and my homies is like, yo, he's just like, yo, live, man, you gotta go outside, man, you gotta like get out of this, fun. man, it's just 100 albums, you gotta, I'm like, I'm like, I gotta get out of this funk, it's a hundred albums. This is everything, like, I, I thought it was over. I was like, man, this is it, fuck this rap shit. Anybody paying attention? You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. back in the garage, whatever the case may be, and this is before the whole Venice Beach shit, and I got pulled out of that. I just saw Chef, and Chef was like, yo, make sure you come back before you leave, and I ain't never come back. I'm in there, and I dropped a hundred motherfucking albums, or uh, 50, 50 albums in Altadena. Chef was like, yo, come link with me, and he put me into the, the studio inside of Venice Beach. Venice Beach, I did the same thing. I broke down this, I broke down the dresser, and made a studio out that bitch and created the, where we're at right now, where I'm at 200 albums. And it's the last, the 200 albums. And you're albums. talking about Venice Beach, Cali, y'all, in yeah. California. Yeah, Venice Beach, California. You know what I'm saying? And, and basically, I was living there. You know what I'm saying? My homie just took me in because he saw- 200 albums, son, 200 albums. He saw that I was, I was, I was talented, and he wanted me to do the Tell video. Tell him, The video work. Real. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to the Fun House, Medic uh, Medicated Marijuana, um, Airbnb. You know what I'm saying? With a weed chef is good. Where a hood chef is cooking for you. You know what I'm saying? The big homies is. They have some pretty dope shit. Yeah, Airbnbs, bro. You know what I'm saying? So basically, Airbnb. I stayed in a couple of them. He basically, With the tree. He, he basically, he basically was like, "Yo, <laughs> where you at? What you doing? Where you at? What you doing?" So boom. Fast forward to the 200 albums. You know what I'm saying? I'm still not here. I'm like, I'm sitting over there with 200 albums. I don't know what the fuck to do. So now I'm sitting here with these 400 music videos. I shot pretty, some big, pretty big music videos over there with a few, a few directors. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now I'm sitting on all this content and I'm, I'm still depressed. I'm still looking at myself like, what the fuck? Why can't I hit? So, bro, real quick, I don't mean to intervene. Yeah. Was this back when you did like joints with like 112? This is all. This is all before. This is all before. This is uh, two and a half years ago. So that's way after. Okay. Okay. That's after. Okay. So this is all right. Keep going. So we have um we fast forward we fast forward. <laughs> you know what I mean, Joby? <coughs> you know what I mean? I gotta intervene with some shit. No no no. Find out we all the time. So this is um you know what I mean? Okay. I'm good. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> I'm at the DJ. I'm at the DJ. I met the DJ. I met the DJ. I met the DJ. I got the DJ. You know what I'm saying? So no. I was, I, when I went to the studio, we kicked it. Whatever the case, I'm with the still. I'm with the studio DJ, the engineer. They got vocals, they playing this, 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 it's like a Biggie and I think it's like 112, like 
they on a hook, and they're like, man, we just need a rapper, man, we just need a rapper, and it's this big building in the studios. Meanwhile, it's upstairs from a chicken spot, and the dude, the chef, told me in Spanish, show, they don't do music out, and I said, yeah, what's up? He's like, they're throwing the studio upstairs, so I took my ass upstairs, just trying to, you know, and I sweat on everything. I'm a kid, I'm a kid with some work on my outside, and I'm looking, you know what I'm saying, I'm looking suspect as shit. But the door opened, right, pop, these two kids walk out. I hit it, took off right there. Hit the door, went upstairs, and just started looking around, and I didn't know what I was in, cause I was first time being in LA. So I'm in Hollywood, California. You know what I'm saying? Now we up, we up there looking. That's after the 200 albums, and I'm just searching Hollywood, California, doing this thing called stealing from the night with my homie Trippy. Stealing from the night. Stealing from stealing the stealing night. from the night. I'm talking about if you got if you got a Benz, if you got a Maserati pulled up on your man, we go in there and I'm shooting right in front of that shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go. Taking off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you had, if you had, listen, look, look, you gotta understand me. I'm talking about like, they had like, when I say cars, they had like, you pull up to their house and the cars would be like seven, eight, nine, ten Lamborghinis in a heart shape. Mm. I don't know about y'all, but when like me, Babkin, that's um, when you trippy, shoot a video. We're, look, we just, we would just <laughs> walk through the night at times. You know what I'm saying? We'd be just beat as hell, you know what I'm saying? Burning, burning gas, just taking off and doing what the fuck we do. And literally just, yo. Let's go. Boom. So all the videos you might see is us stealing from the night. Right. So people are like, oh, yo, that's that's unprofessional. That's this, that's that. No, that's a motherfucker not trying to get arrested. Sounds I'm on the top of the, I'm on the top of, I'm on the, I'm, 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 I'm going to put this out there right now. We on the top shrooms of Hollywood top Boulevard. Of, I'm just saying, it sounds like Shrooms was now, involved with Oh, this. no, tri no, tri <laughs> Trippy is definitely so, so, an entity. So he's giving insight. He no, 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 wait, no, 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 Okay, and uh, Liam Heiss, he's actually a, um, a videographer. A cat out the West Coast? From California, yeah. Okay. Um, I met him through a kid named uh, Matt Hill, and I also met him uh, out there working with uh, another videographer. And, and stealing from the night with this kid, he didn't, he was going through some stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, e each individual, we, we just call each other, every night, and it's crazy, because like, two years we didn't talk to each other. I get a phone, I, I hit him up, yo, what's up? We're going to put these videos out, I got the East Coast listening. He didn't understand that I was going to be on the radio talking about him and understanding that, yo, we're going to shake up the game. Like, I got, if I got the West Coast making videos that I did two years ago, and the East Coast ain't even caught up to that, and the West Coast ain't even caught up to what I'm doing over here, I got the game in the yoke. I got the game in the fucking yoke, and I know it. Now all, all right. I need is a DJ. I need some internet entities that are smart enough to put this shit out to the solid form. I'm talking about full court press. I don't care what none of these deep dead radios are saying. Listen, man. I'm talking about, look, man. Put it on record. I'm running circles around rappers, bro. I'ma talk the way I need to talk, man. I'ma talk on talk, because I can back Skirt. my shit the fuck up, man. Skirt. Straight up. Skirt. I'ma uh. talk my shit. Uh -huh. It's Mr. 200 in this motherfucker. Uh -huh. 506 Skirt. songs in this bitch. And I've been humble for way too motherfucking long, bro. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? How the city, uh -huh. the city I, said, I said 506 songs. On what uh -huh. album? X0 underscore live link in my motherfucking bio. Can I use it as a transition? You can use it as a transition. All right, all right, all right. Uh -huh. Let me speak, let me speak. G, can you step over by the man right here? <clears throat> I need to get this on film. Let's do it. Let's talk I said, about my man's need some push. Let's talk about because it. Because when I heard about the albums and how you got 200 tracks. Let's talk about it. On one album and another five. We know you as Clay. Yeah. So mama called Clay. I'm called Clay. That's right, yo. Clay. Hold on, hold on, wait. Hold on, hold on, wait. Shout out to my motherfucking mama. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't even know who my father is, so I don't even know where this fucking greatness came from. But my mama brought me in this motherfucker, bro. And I got a motherfucking daughter by the name of Millie Matrix, bro, that hold me the fuck down, yo. So shout out to my family and my team, but continue that, bro. Continue. Real rap, yo. Okay, sir. So, I came up with this, but I know him as Clay. Mama called him Clay, so I'm calling him Clay. But a lot of people know him as So Live. Yeah. So I said, what can I do as somebody who runs a radio show and maintains a lot of other radio shows? How can I help this man get on? And I said, I got an idea. Let me do this thing because How I heard him, sir. I got this thing that I came up with. It's called the So Live Go Live Challenge. Oh. 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 oh it's not okay. the first time. Get him on film. I want him to stay on that. And it's 30 hours. So you got a day, roughly a day and a half. Go yeah. ahead and press it. Come back and check in in like about an little. hour. Come back and check in after you get out the shower. Come yeah. back and check in after you get out of work. Right. Come back and check in after you done drop the deuce in the toilet. Oh, and, man. And speaking of which, <laughs> let's find out where we are. Because I did this about eight hours ago. Let's go. So let me drop my man's music. 
This is where we are right now. Turn me up. In the Soul Live Go Live Challenge. Oh, Soul Live Go Live Challenge. These rappers are past. Oh, I so. Yo, Clay, this, this is was what trash. this was about, what I was telling you about. This is a surprise, bro, and what he's been doing. But then the rapper's <clears throat> garbage. Damn. I didn't really tell you about it, but. Oh. Uh. His off glass. And worth the guards that you ash. Think. Got to feel bad. So live, go live challenge. It doesn't list what Damn song we're bad. on. But I want to say we're about 40 songs into it. About 40 songs deep right now. Stop smacking up DJs that's disrespecting hip hop. But yeah, so that's what we got going on. So everybody out there, if you want to participate, go ahead, go to the Dap Piff site. Easy, listen, so the album, album um, 200 is going to be sold at $1,000. And if you ain't that proud to pay like Recipe Snipsy said, we got album 50 for you. We're going to do that for 500 uh -huh. Straight up. And there's, 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 there's 225 songs on the album. You know what I'm saying? So there's 500 songs on the, on the 100th album. So if you want that, that shit for know, free right now, you can go get that. And it's called I Am The Revolution. Yeah. Y'all go get that. Like I said, if you want to participate in the Soul Live Go Live Challenge, Hop on the Instagram, yeah. hop on the Facebook, hit play, and then tag us, tag So Live, yeah. tag Clay, you know what I'm saying? I want to say where it's, 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 it's on Instagram. Tag. On Instagram, you can tag me at X0 underscore L-I-V-E. AKA So Live. Yeah, X0 underscore Live, and the link is in the bio. Go get that, go get that. I want to post a video, man. To do, yeah. Just just show a video. You hashtag it with yeah. the Soul Live yeah. Go Live. Yeah, Soul Live Go Live Challenge. Soul Live Go Live. Soul Live. Soul Live. Yeah. Once Soul you Live. do that, we're going to check back in with you. We're going to shoot you the instant messenger and say, if you can, go live right now. Let us know where you at on the album. And we're going to go ahead and share that on all the pages. The Soul Live Go Live Challenge. Soul it's Live, official Live, as of yeah. today. You know what it's talking Let's about, man. Let's make it happen. Yeah, man. Well, I can't. Hashtag Guinness. Yeah, man. Well. Yeah, hashtag Guinness. Not the beer. Get that man his record. World record. Ah. Yeah, the Guinness record, man. Hey, hey, so hey, live, go live. That's what he was talking about. Yeah. I didn't want to give you. No, nah, we yeah, good. We good. Mean, that's perfect. I surprised you, but this is what we just know, like. Like I really feel like I really feel like just the people got to get behind us for hip hop. It's not yeah. about my world record. I just feel like hip hop deserved a look. I feel like we deserve a look. If they giving out rap snacks to rappers, I really feel like you know what I'm we saying. We deserve a pack of rap snacks. You know what I'm saying. I mean, you, <laughs> Choppy want the distribution. <laughs> hey, the I am saying. He's still going on about the rap snacks. I am saying. No, no, shout out to shout out to rap snacks. I need no, my I need my this. check. You got an album right. that you can start playing at eight o'clock. Go to work. Come home. Cook dinner. Huh. Take a shower. Go to bed, wake up again. Almost that for like a fucking week, playing. right? Almost for like a week. Yeah, well, it's like yeah. 30 hours, so roughly a day yeah. and a half. I think you got F bombs, but not right. for like a week. Man, man you can play. You can play that damn so live continuously for a long, long period of time. So so live, go live challenge. Let's if you get put this the collective record. together, yeah, it takes, yeah, sir, you know what I mean? Oh, easily. You can probably play it for easily. like a month straight. And I'm taking, like, if we like take literally. an album, what was right. it, 50, where you like got literally. 200? Album is 250 songs. 250 songs, and you partner that with this album, you sitting on two plus days of music. There you go. That's, 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 that's two but albums. Said, two albums has 700 songs on it. The, a, a collective, it may be about a yeah, month or two straight. you take all 100 albums. That you could play of. You know what I mean? So, so live, live, so live, go live, so live. Like that. So that's why go I live. call this so brother go live challenge. That's baby. why your boy Shiz calls this brother my record breaking. Well, my 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 Guinness Book record chasing homie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I gotta make it proper. I gotta get it right. My my Guinness Book record chasing homie. Yeah. Because he put he's put down. Enough projects, enough effort, enough time, yeah. and all that, man, it's there. Listen, listen, and it's so not like he's just talking about it. The, yeah, it's, it's there. Like, the material can is I, there. Let's so, get so back in this real quick. Yeah. This, I, started this this album, really I started this album at, like, damn, at noon. Think about that. That means I had time to go to my mom and pop, say hi, had help with the groceries. We had time to come here and chop it up outside. Right. We had time to go do this. Take some crown. Do a couple of interviews. Feel do some good. crown. Most Enjoy albums Sunday. don't even last a car ride. <laughs> yeah. Think about oh, that. Or you're skipping uh, through uh, them. And you or you're skipping through uh, them. Me and Big Dog are skipping Think through a lot that. of things. Exactly. Put, that, put that in perspective now. So live, go live. Yeah. Everybody See, get a, a part of, of it. Hey, 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 really, Clay. Bruh. 
That's a lot. Of hold on, wait. Material. Look, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. Hey, because they say damn. they say content is everything, so let's not forget about everything the five hundred music videos on on YouTube. Yeah. And hey, you got visuals. It's five hundred YouTube YouTube visuals on Generation Changer TV. And what's the average length on the video? The average length is four minutes, easy. And it's four hundred. It's, it's, it's actually. I don't give a damn what the quality. Yeah. Then they just be shooting them in his closet. Five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Now nah, we definitely we definitely got something swimming for him, but this you know is the thing. So, though. so this is so this is what we do. So look, so look, so you about to play the gangster the gangster song uh, the gangster single tonight? Um, I'm gonna give hey, I'm gonna give you that video. That yeah, we got that ready. I want I want to I want to put him. I, I, hold on, wait, because I, I, I want I, I came out and I made sure that I bought my homie Fat Robin. I bought my mom for Chubby Wild with me. You know what I'm saying? Chubby Chubby Fat, from the city. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Fat Robin, so, Fat Robin, cooling with us all. Yeah. What up, Fat Yo, round two for Fat Robin's first performance. Fat Robin. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I, I never knew the brother's name. Too. Yeah. His first ever. Uh, he's been with me all day. Right? So we finna. So, so pa pass on the microphone. Hey, yo, Rob, introduce that motherfucking new single, man. All right. Yeah, introduce that new thank, single. Thank you, Big Dog. Her, her body, you, you know what I'm saying? Big Yo, dog. round of applause for Fat Rob, his first Fat Rob. Yeah, man. Fat Rob. He just passed Friday. All right. That's my man's in there. Me no doubt. Max. Oh, all right. Yeah. So, all right. All right. So we're going to get it in right here. Just, all right, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go Mike. You got the microphone. Turn his mic up. Go ahead, Fat Rob. Go ahead, boom. Is it on? Is it on? Oh, my God. Turn it on, homie. Nah, you good. Go ahead. Give me a second to get yourself right. Get yo, yourself yo, situated. Yo, yo. The okay, show? Just give my dedication to Cardi because these chills are so good. Yo, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just happy, just in oh, love. I'm in love right. all over again. No doubt. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> huh? But I'm just going to have you right here in my body because, you know, this is me and my boy, Generation Change is so loud, Fat Rob. Okay. Play, I mean, Shout out the city, play, though. They call him Play Dime. You know my time. My time. My time. Bro, spell it. So loud. So loud. So loud. Bro, bro. We've we known each other for a couple I years, bro. I love my spring. So Spring Hill, Florida. So live. Beautiful Spring Hill, beautiful Brooksville, Florida. Spring you know, Hill. We in the building. It's that I, single name, huh? The single is Her Body with So Live. Alright. Now we're gonna get right here. Hey, 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 what's right, what, what, what show you want, bro? Well, I'm on the ship. So Alright, hold on, you wipe the nose and, and got it. Chisel, ain't sniffing or nothing. Chisel for scissors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> chisel show. And we, you know, we doing it live out here. We keep it out. Big boy. Big boy. Big boy. We doing the thing thing. Big boy. 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 Yeah, we keep it positive. We stay having fun. If you ain't having fun, we don't want none. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Hell yeah. Right. No negative energy. No negative energy. Right. 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 Introduce that. Up. Introduce right. that. So, yo, Choppy Chop, Liddy Gang Gang. Go ahead. Peek this out right here. Mm. Oh, that's a music. Go on, Oh. Yeah. Jameen. Yeah. 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 that's why. He's in his, nah, yeah, nah, he, he ready got her kicked up. We ready to go. The gangster single right now gonna play on the radio. You know what I'm saying? That's all right, I wanna hey, know, man. All right, hey, hey, it is what it is. Before running. you play that, what we gonna do? We just gonna let it go off that. You know what I'm saying? Let's this run it. I appreciate everybody that tuned in. Yeah. Have a, an awesome Memorial Day. You know Happy saying? Memorial Day from the Choppy Chop. Everybody from the Choppy Chop. Appreciate everybody that tuned in this afternoon.